Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see about the FSK wave that is frequency shift keying and as I already mentioned you earlier in the video that I will make this simple by just saying from the ASK wave now you can see this is the amplitude shift keying wave that we have studied now I will say what are the changes and modifications that are to be done in this video so that you will get the FSK wave and now what I want to say is frequency shift keying deals with the frequency so the two ways is if you recollect the wave equation then you can get clearly from that so what are the necessary modifications that I am going to do is as this is connected to the amplitude I am going to arrange this and I am going to connect this to the frequency of this so that there will be change in the frequency that is called as the frequency shift keying and now here I am go not going to multiply with one I am going to multiply with some higher frequency so as this is connecting to the frequency what is the multiple that I am giving here will influence the frequency of the signal so I have to mention some difference for these two that is this is four times greater than this signal frequency if this is low or data bit 0 then the frequency multiple is 1 and if it is high then the frequency multiple is 4 times greater than this so I have to compare this with the um, some value which is in between 4 and 1 let me take it as 2 and the remaining all calculations will be same this is as the data will not change every time this will remain constant for all the three types of shift keying method, modulation methods and here I am connected to the frequency and here I changed this to 4 and 1 here I changed this to 2 these are the modifications that I have done for the ASK wave so now let me mm, uh, show you mm, the waveform so this is how it looks now you can clearly see that for data bit 1 as we gave 4 this is the multiple four multiples frequencies that is the frequency is greater than the data bit zero here you can see the frequency is less compared to here so from this we can get the feel that this is a fre frequency shifting that is the frequency is shifting and here you can observe for data bit one the frequency is more for data bit zero it is less and similarly for data bit zero it is less for data bit one it is more so from this uh, with the basic knowledge of uh, amplitude shifting generation you, you can generate or you can synthesize on your own about the frequency shift keying and the phase shift keying by having the basic knowledge on the equations to uh, you can analyze, analyze on your own since these are the projects that we are uh, dealing and we are doing in the NA lab view here uh, there is no much time to explain the theory but if you require what is the actual function and how actually the wave equations or the modulation process is going on you can ping me in the comment section so that I will make one more video on that and that's all for this video and hope you all guys enjoyed this video a lot thank you for watching